What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. This is episode 10 now on the series. If you guys remember from the last episode, this coaster right here is the new one that we built known as the Tornado. Now, I did a couple of things to this since the last episode. I added these cool little signs out in the front. They're kind of similar to the signs that we added on the front of the mall, but they are different colors. They're the same colors, except everything's sort of inverted. But I think it looks really good. It does seem to get a little bit more foot traffic over into this area of the park as well, because the signs act as a sort of advertisement for certain rides. So each letter in the word tornado is its own separate advertisement and I think that is helping quite a bit here so what we're gonna be doing today is finally tackling some of our challenges we have the restaurant challenge that we have to achieve we also have a new challenge of achieve a scenery rating of 220 and I think ours is hundred and eighty it is 183 it was 180 and then I added the signs and now it's 183 so that makes sense but I think we're gonna add the restaurant we might even do two I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but I think we're gonna add those over here and to do that I'm going to try to use the blueprints that I've already made these little Adobe buildings here what is that by now in the planet coaster spooky pack okay I get it planet coaster or shoot who makes this game frontier it's frontier developments makes this game I see you frontier plug in your own DLC that didn't used to be there that this wasn't always here but now they're showing you oh yeah you could have this but you have to buy the DLC. And of course, I don't have. Wait a second. What? I have the DLC? Oh, nope. Never mind. Okay. It just took a long time to load in. So, we're going to do without that. It's just a coffee shop. We already have a coffee shop in the mall. So, I'm not worried about that at all. We have the medium adobe sized building right here. We have the small adobe building. And I think if I. Maybe if I combine the buildings we might be able to make one big restaurant i don't even know if anyone's gonna come to the restaurant i honestly have no idea how this works so this will be a little bit of a, a trial and error type of episode here but i do think we are going to add another hotel if i remember correctly people are using it but not as many as i remember i thought we had a lot more people going into the hotel than that but that's not a huge deal so first let's copy and paste i guess duplicate the hotel we're gonna put this over here i suppose we'll try to get it right up next to the tornado or as close as we can without it looking too weird i think that's actually a pretty good spot now it's just a case of connecting a path to it we're gonna use the same path we have been using let's make this 33 wide we'll do that uh, we'll do that at the entry right there and then if we start to slim this up a little bit oops we got to make it a little bit longer okay we're starting to get there 23 still too wide let's try 16 okay a little longer Ooh, that's kind of weird i don't I don't know what's going on with that. 13? Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, angle snap was on. Okay. So if we do three on this, turn angle snap on, we should be able to place a path right there. Looks perfect. So now we have yet another hotel and we have 64,000 bucks, guys. I mean, this is crazy. We're making so much money now after adding just another roller coaster. And it's really not anything that crazy. It took me a long time. The episode, yesterday's episode was actually much shorter than the amount of time, much like most of the episodes, but it was much shorter than the amount of time it actually took me to make the coaster. I think I spent a total of two hours trying to build this coaster and uh, this is what we ended up with and it broke down. So obviously the wooden coaster, not super reliable compared to scoop de loop de hoop de which hardly ever breaks down it seems like but we got 64,000 in the bank so we should have plenty of money to uh to play around here with so first i'm going to add the medium adobe building here and i do need this to go just slightly through the ground there i think that's a pretty good height so let's try to get this put over here i think is going to be a nice spot for it kind of close to the path but enough that we can still put a little bit of scenery out there we'll do one here and then maybe we could just do the smaller one not really attached to it but next to it oh shoot we're gonna have to try to match the height of this thing aren't we what about that is that pretty close that's pretty close i'm gonna roll with it and then let's do the smaller one like this so we can kind of see that deck a little bit better we'll do this one here so we'll have a path 
path coming over to the door there. And then let's do another medium building, I think right over here. We'll try to match the height again. It's gonna be pretty much impossible to get it perfect, but we'll have to go with good enough. And then let's put this one right there. So we're gonna have this little block of buildings. And now we just have to connect our path. We're gonna turn angle snap back on. Oh, you know what? Shoot, I did not think this through. So these buildings don't have anything inside of them. So we're gonna have to add things, which is great. And we can't take a path into the buildings. We could, it's just gonna look really bad. So what if we, what if we added the shops and facilities? So we will go into edit this building right here, go into shops and facilities. First, obviously we have to grab the restaurant entrance. That's gonna have to get rotated around like that. And it looks like the path is already being pre-made, which is nice. It doesn't look bad from the outside apart from that window being there. We might just have to move the window a little bit or we could just live with it. But let's plop that sucker down there. So we have one restaurant there. I don't want multiple restaurants. I was hoping we could use these other buildings as places that we could just put the restaurant expansion. So this is technically a quote unquote restaurant room. So I'm, I was hoping we could just sort of plop one of these in the center of here and then do a, a similar thing, I think over in this building as well. That way we don't actually have to have a ton of rooms inside of the main restaurant building that we'll be using. But I think we can start by putting one here. We'll do one over here in the corner where there isn't a window. We can do one over here in this corner where there's not a window. God, trying to use the camera inside the buildings is terrible. And then I think we'll do one here. And then upstairs, I'm pretty sure is all windows. I think we'll just start with that. Let's go ahead and add a single room over here. It's about all we're gonna be able to fit. Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. The grid's not gonna line up with this building. So we will have to edit this one add another restaurant expansion in there and then we will add as many as we can over in this one again have to deselect that reselect this building go to edit there we go okay we're starting to figure things out we're only 10 episodes in and, and just now figuring out how to play that's fine and then let's put that one there i think that's the maximum we'll be able to do without it looking bad okay so from the outside the windows still look pretty good you can still see inside of the building which is what i wanted and you kind of have to really turn the camera around to see a lot of the other stuff. This one is kind of an exception because the doorway is there, but I think it'll look okay. So we have a path going to this one. That's looking great. What happens if we select this? Prestige of one star. Okay, so we can have up to 10 restaurant expansions. How many did we have in this building alone? One, two, three, four. Am I counting correctly? One, two, three, four. And then in this one, we had four. So that would be five. So we have nine in total. Who's to say we can't just chuck another one in here or chuck another one in this building? Let's just put another one in here. Facilities, restaurant expansion. Okay, so we're going to bring this up to the main floor right there. Place that one down. Whoops. Maybe not, gotta go down a little bit. Oh man, am I not gonna be, there? okay. Didn't think I'd be able to actually select it. So we gotta go down to about there. Okay, it kind of looks bad with the, the window being there, but now we should be able to select the restaurant, connect more expansions, can select expansions that are already connected to other foyer objects. Yeah, I want that. Okay, so let's get these. Wait a second, what, what? Are these like out of range or something? Cause these work, it must, okay, well shoot. Maybe we're gonna have to move everything in closer then. I didn't think about it having like a limit or we'll have to put the restaurant in the small building. So it's in the center of the two, let's try that. So we will delete restaurant number one if it'll let us. Edit building, delete, okay, there we go. And we will edit this one. Let's go back into facilities. We'll add the restaurant entrance over here. Might look kind of weird. It might also look okay. All right, put that there. And now let's go to this, click on restaurant, prestige, Still one star. Scenery rating went down quite a bit. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we can't connect these now. It looks like those are all good and I don't see any in here that are red. So let's try to select this building. Okay, we'll select this building. That should bring us to eight. Oh, shoot, I'm not holding shift. There we go, that's eight, nine, and 10, perfect. We will confirm that. 
Something I think we should do just to make this process a little bit easier on connecting the path. Let's add the restaurant entrance over here. So we sort of get that automatic path into there. That looks good. This one has a railing because honestly, I don't know why, but let's get rid of that. Delete the path. Okay. Now if we edit this building, shops and facilities one last time, rotate this sucker around and put it right there. Perfect. Okay. Now we can delete that. Wait a sec. What? What? You're kidding. Got it worked the first time. Well, okay. Let's just edit this building. Get rid of that restaurant. Okay. Well, it left this so we can kind of work with that, I guess. These paths are not going to be functional, so it does not matter too much. I just kind of wanted a path so it looked a little prettier. Try to snake a path over through here. Turn off angle snap. Okay, that's not going to work. Maybe we should take the path from here first. There we go. Delete that path. Uh-oh, not what I wanted. Okay, take it out from here and then go over to here and then here, not working. All right, we will have to live with the path sort of going through the building, I guess. That's as good as I'm gonna be able to get that. And then let's get a fake path over to this one from here to here. And just for good measure, we'll put it on into the actual building. Okay, and these do look a little low, so let's bring it up just slightly. Ooh, actually, I kind of like that with the, the railing there. That looks pretty cool. And then we'll bring this one up just a little bit. Railing's not going to appear because we don't have a restaurant in there. And then we will bring this one up right there. Perfect. So now we don't have the path clipping through the floor of these fake buildings right here. Looking much better. And we we might actually, thinking about it now, we might have to do something a little different here. So if this restaurant doesn't end up performing well, we could always do individual restaurants. So have each building be its own and kind of kind of work it that way, I suppose. We'll see what happens though. So we have 10 restaurant expansions. All the rooms are connected. This is a large one. So I feel like we're gonna have to do family venue, maybe. Let's go ahead and confirm this. Let's see what our prestige is. Three stars, okay. Now we have to go into restaurant menu. So we have the Plan Co, Planet Coaster menu. Let's do $4.50. We're gonna raise everything by a dollar. Kind of the same thing that we've been doing in all of our other shops and facilities. Three active. We want everything that we don't currently have. So we have a Tiki Cheeky. We don't have a Mexalente. All right, so that is the main course is done. Let's add a couple of extras or appetizers. 425 triple baked fries. Well, that's obvious. $4.20. Okay. We should be use the same items and prices for all restaurants. I'm going to select that anyways. I don't know if we're going to add more restaurants or not, but it looks like, what is our prestige now? Okay, so it's going to lose us quite a bit of money. $1,100 to be exact. Last month's profit, we lost $1,100. That could also be because we're not advertising for it. So let's come over here. Set advertise destinations, everything, all of it. All right, now that we have that done, we do have to do one more thing here so let's go into not marketing campaigns where is it work rosters there we go entire park so we have all the janitors all the security guards all the repair guys they're all under this work roster right here the entire park work roster so apply the restaurant there that way the janitors know that they have to clean it and that way the security officers know that they have to patrol it now we just have to get some barrels god we don't have barrels over here for miles it seems Seems like so let's add a is that trap no that's vomit already you're kidding me the closest ride is over there so if you vomited coming out of the hotel room you probably should have just stayed in there all right let's get these going along the path here put one in the center one over there now let's grab some benches oh we had god i'm an idiot we had stuff really really close we didn't have to go all the way over there all right that is looking super good what do you guys think of that? Is that a decent addition to the park? Another hotel and some restaurant area looking places? Ooh, that's clipping through. I did not realize that. Uh-oh. Okay, so let's try to lower this in that case. We're gonna have to edit the building. Click on this bad boy, Billy, right here. Whoops. And put it right there. Sure. Can people still get in then? Even though I moved it? We're gonna have to fast forward because literally no one's coming over here now, of course. 
She gonna be able to get in? Perfect. All right, so we're still good here. So we have two challenges complete now. Achieve a scenery rating of 220. It is now 228. That's perfect. So we got 2,000 bucks there. And then we had another one have a restaurant with at least two rooms. And we knocked that out of the park because we got 10 rooms in this bad boy. Have uh, 39 people visit your restaurant for one month in a row. Are we doing that? We have one table taken out of 42. Customers last month eight. I really hope we see that number improve there. We got 1,900 people in the park. It might be a good idea to maybe do an advertisement marketing campaign. Let's just do all three of these suckers. Turn off auto renew. Uh-oh. Tea bags is broken down. It's been a while since tea bags broke down. How's the tornado looking? Pretty good still. People are starting to make their way out here. I don't think the park is filled up enough. I feel like we should have more people out here, but then again, the queue for quick drop is probably half the general population of the entire world. All the other queues are looking pretty good. Teabags is gonna start filling up again. Food court still kicking it. People are really enjoying the mall. It seems like a lot of people like the balloon shop, but I don't see too many people at the other shops. I did fix the issue I was having with the wall with people walking into it and being able to become Casper. So now they don't do that. I basically just recessed the walls in here so that wouldn't happen and things are looking a lot better there. Check on the hotel. We we have a couple of people in there. It's making money though. That's a good sign. Is the restaurant making money yet? No, we are losing quite a bit now, but we got 40 customers. Wasn't it 38 or something? 39 for one month in a row. It's been a month. Customers last month, 40. Where's my achievement? Missed sales, 14. What do people not like about it? Uh, There's too much choice. You can't decide. Well, that's your own fault. Practically deserted. I'm trying to get people over here, man. It's hard. It's really hard. This is like the one strip of path that no one seems to want to walk on. Even though now we have a ride over here, we have another hotel over here, which is just gonna continue to lose money. Wait, why is our prestige so low? Oh, oh shoot, dude. We didn't connect any of the rooms here. Well, that makes sense. Hotel rooms, connect everything that's inside of there. All 15 of them, confirm. Okay, what's our prestige now? Five stars, baby, that's what I'm talking about. We got a 66% Q scenery over here, which is weird because this one's a 70 something, 73, I, 74. Why is that a, any different? I'm really confused by that. Oh, we do need some of these bad boys over here. There we go. Does that help our Q scenery rating? Nope, not at all. But we do have people going into this hotel now. That is perfect. And it looks like we're starting to get some more traffic down this little strip here. Off camera, I think, I know some people had said they would like to see live streams in the future of me just decorating the park. I'm definitely going to do that. Still working out a webcam slash camera situation or face cam situation. For live streams especially, it's it's nicer to sort of use a face cam to better connect with you guys. So I'm gonna try to figure something out here. I'm trying right now to figure out a way to use my mirrorless camera, the one that I use for like car shows or vlogs and that type of stuff. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can use that rather than buy some crappy 30 frames per second webcam. I'd really like to have 1080p and 60 frames per second still. So everything's nice and synced up, but we'll see how that goes. What do we got for notifications here? So we're making eight grand a month, or it will, at least we did last month. The park rating has decreased a ton. Why is that? Is it because of all the rides? It's because everything's aging, isn't it? No one's at the tornado. Oh, duh, refurb just finished. Okay, so people should start lining up again. We're up to $75,000 though, so we're still making money somewhere. I'm not really sure where that is. Probably, well, let's just see what's the most full here. Probably quick draw, right? Yep. Holy crap, almost out to the entrance on quick draw. And similar story over here with super high. Scoopty loopty hoopty still has such a fast queue. We shouldn't even ever pay attention to that. 420 blaze it again, stop breaking down. We're on year 12 now. How old is this thing? Prestige, ooh, it's old boys. Okay, so we should probably go through and adjust our prices. Now someone did tell me, and I think I mentioned this in the last episode, someone did tell me that if you take your prestige level, for example, this one's 645, and divide that by 35, that should give you the perfect dollar amount to put onto your ride. So this one was 1842, there we go, so 420 blaze it 1842 let's adjust the price of the tornado if we need to oh yeah dude the prestige went up a 979 divided by 35 would be 2797 so we get to charge a little bit more here 2797 moving on to quick draw we got a prestige
prestige of 1187. I don't think that has changed really at all. Divided by 35 would be 3391, which I'm pretty sure is exactly what it's at. Yep. Okay, so that one's not going to change much. Tea bags is changing. God, dude, once we get to that classic prestige, it's all downhill from here. We will be coasting. We'll have so much money, it's going to be ridiculous. This should be 771 now. What are we charging currently? That exact dollar amount. Perfect. Kamikaze, 704 divided by 35 would be 2011, which is what it's at. Okay, did we already check? Scoop de loop de hoop de 571 divided by 35, 1631. 31. That one's starting to age as well, so we're going to have to watch out for declining customers there. 721 divided by 35 would be $20.60. 20 20.6. There we go. Everything is now updated. Something you guys, I don't think saw from the previous episode, I added a restroom block over here because I saw so many people walking over here, holding their crotch, tiptoeing because they had to go to the bathroom so, so bad. And the only bathroom block that we have is over here in this corner of the park. So I did add just a small little restroom block over here so people can go whiz -waz, um elsewhere. And then we also have an ATM over here. I did the same sort of building style as we have over here and added one more on this side so people can pay for the hotel they can pay for stuff in the mall take more money out and uh, just just give us all your money that's all we want here we are trying to really capitalize on this park here 79,000 bucks 80,000 bucks we're killing it, dude. It's going so well. We got 2,500 people in the park. Guest happiness couldn't be higher. Should we check on our employees? Do we still care? All staff. Ooh, we got two new janitors that we can train up. We have Felix Lyons and Kermit Grover. Uh, they are both new janitors. So what I did with the janitors is I had... I guess I can just show you guys. Let's go into janitors here. So for Felix and Kermit... They are both only cleaning toilets and cleaning facilities because they're new. I didn't want to overload them with stuff. Darrell, you guys remember Darrell and Bertram. They are both cleaning only bins and litter for the entire park. And then D. Daniel and Dewey McGuire, they are doing only vomit and only benches. Only benches. Only benches. Benches. That's benches with vomit on them. Um, they're doing both of those for the entire park and only those. So it's starting to keep things a little bit cleaner, I think. We do have some vomit over here that needs cleaned up. Hopefully everyone can make it around efficiently. Later on, we're going to be adding the chairlift to get from corner to corner of the park, but I think we have to expand quite a bit more before we get to that point. But things are looking pretty good, man. I'm super, super happy with the way this park is turning out. We got a ton of great rides here. We got two straight custom coasters that are just killing the game. And Quick Draw, of course, is our most famous attraction and I didn't even build it. The only thing I built for quick draw was added the queue and the uh, the exit path. Can't really pat myself on the back for that one, but the coasters, man, that's straight custom. That's that's all me. I'm trying to think if there is anything else at all that I want to go over for this episode. Let me check quickly on the restaurant. Too many choices, can't decide. Again, that's your own fault. I don't care. 2300 bucks is what we're losing on the restaurant over here. But, huh. So the restaurant challenges have 39 people visit your restaurant for one month in a row. The last month we had 43 people. Oh, no, I was going to say in a row, but it's for one month. So there's no in a row about it and achieve a monthly profit from shops and facilities of 500 bucks. That I don't think we'll ever hit. We're always negative for shops and facilities. I don't think I've ever seen a positive number out of that. The only thing that I could think about doing to hopefully increase that would maybe try to up the prestige or up the Q scenery rating for our hotels because those make a good chunk of money. That one's making 765. This one's bringing in 75. You'll catch up. This is like the the younger brother of the original Hotel 2G over here. So in the next episode, I feel like maybe we should add a couple more rides over in this area. Try to bring a little bit more foot traffic over here. I don't think we're gonna add anything else over into this corner. We might get a couple of coasters that maybe come around to the back 
back side of this. I would like to make one really long coaster. Both of our coasters so far are pretty short, but I, I wanted to do that to help speed along the queue. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens here, but I'm pretty excited. We're going to keep expanding this park, making it as best as we can or as, as good as we can. But I do think that is going to do it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.